If we want to show there exists a number delta bigger than 0, such that if uh, absolute value of x minus 9 is less than delta, then the square root of x minus 3 in absolute value is less than epsilon. This is not very hard, because if you take uh, the square root of x minus 3, take its absolute value, multiply and divide by square root of x plus 3, and then you end up with an expression like this. Now, as long as x is bigger than 0, uh, this term will be positive. Of course, if it's less than 0, it doesn't even make any sense. Uh, so then this is less than or equal to 1 third times absolute value of x minus 9. So an appropriate value for delta would be to take any positive number that is smaller than the minimum of 9 and 3 epsilon. See, since delta is smaller than 9, that means that if x is closer to 9 than uh, delta, then x has to be bigger than or equal to 0, so it makes sense to talk about this. And then if delta is smaller than 3 epsilon, you'd have absolute value of x minus 9 would be smaller than 3 epsilon, and that times 1 third would give you epsilon, and so you'd have this expression less than epsilon.